Good to see you again. Here we are back on the couch. Steph's <sighs> back here. That's great news. Good to see Steph back. Hi. Happy you survived Christmas? Well, we did. We did. We did. It was good. But we did want to stay. start with Happy New South Wales is on fire. Dang. So, yeah, we're going to launch Dang. straight into that because we were wanting to say it's the start of January, Happy New Year, but it's not happy for so many people. So we're going to chat a little bit about that today. Bit of a wash up on Christmas. Wash up on Christmas. I'm wearing my Christmas present. Very, today. very festive. The <sighs> present you were not meant to get. The present I was not meant to get, yeah. I did go rush out on Christmas Eve to buy Anita a gift for Christmas <laughs> as suggested it would happen. Yeah. But I won the Christmas present prize. I got the best one. So Such a it. competition, right? But but I must say, that's pretty good. That she could have won that because we live in paradise when it's not on fire. We're not on fire. We're not. So viewers, New South Wales is on fire. The coast particularly. Hell, last couple of days, mm. um, New was it New Year's Eve was just a disastrous day for New South Wales. Uh, many communities up in flames. Devastated. Lives lost. Lots of properties lost. 382, the count is up to. But when it's just a number like that, you don't... It's really hard to go, oh, yeah. But when you see houses and towns flattened with mm. nothing. So a guy said on telly today, I don't... I don't have any undies to put on. No, that's right. That's, Little a, that's things how like real that. this is, isn't it? Yeah, that that's shocking. But I saw this post on Facebook and I haven't had a chance to fact check, right? So I'll give you that disclaimer. But I read it and someone had supposedly looked it up about all the fires that were burning around the world. So we had the California fires oh, not yes. too long ago. I know where this is going. The Amazon, mm. which is on fire, which there has been a lot of global... Um, mm news about and then you have new south wales and new south wales is our state and it has burnt more hectares than those alone mm. in a couple of months and i don't think the enormity of that when i read that i'm like if this is this is accurate mm. holy moly so that so the problem there is the carbon release so it would have a lot to do with the density of the forests that are burning and the number of hectares the number of hectares that are gone and obviously houses and people. And I think part of our conundrum today is that uh, a lot of people in Australia, in particular on um, mm. the South Coast, are feeling that there is um, very little help. There's no action. We're not having leadership in our country at the moment, which is causing a lot of debate within houses that are not on fire and on fire. Um, so that will be interesting to chat to you a little bit about that today. Go. Chat it up. Oh, now? Oh, okay. How was your Christmas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, but then again, this is our conundrum today because... Yeah, we, you're struggling we, with this. I really am struggling between talking about how amazing our Christmas was and and our New Year's, we got a gift to go to our local basketball match on New Year's Eve, which is always a blast. And it had a really great vibe and atmosphere. But then you leave there and you're on a high and then you pop the news on. And so you got a bit of the guilt. Totally. It's just this flip-flopping between feeling okay and trying to carry on with your day with your mm. kids who don't <clears throat> understand the enormity and then flipping over to, oh my God, Nara is, what, an hour away or two hours away from it's us? It's not two hours, yeah. It's so, like an hour. Yeah. So less than an hour away, we have towns on fire from there all the way down to the Victorian border and there is mm. some in Victoria and, yeah. and up yeah. north. Um, Absolutely. They've actually asked that all the tourists, because it's summer, Christmas holidays, oh, goes on. that place just packs out. South of here, and even here, I mean, we've seen the caravan parks here that are absolutely packed. It just packs out. Everyone's on holiday, and they're there for weeks because it's school holidays, six weeks school Big holidays. Big family, lots of kids. Oh, and my. they're asking that all the tourists 
get out because any resources left within the towns need to be there for the locals. And this is what is upsetting me uh, probably the most. So today on the telly, you see that there's kilometers of cars lining up at petrol stations, mm. right? To, to get fuel to get out. So they're saying get out before Saturday and today is? Thursday. Thursday. Saturday's another hell day. It's gonna be like a 40 degree day, which was uh, New Year's Eve, which when we had major problems, windy. It's here's just the a problem. hell cycle. But here's the issue. So there's no electricity, they say, to pay for it via card, and then you've got to pay by cash. But if you don't have the cash, the servers are not letting you get petrol. So essentially they're gonna be stuck in there by Saturday. And if all of that, what's reporting on the news, mainstream media, mind you, if any of that is true, is what's making me really angry. Um, a friend of mine had a personal experience. He had to get out of that area, mm -hmm. and this is exactly what he'd, he'd written. If you haven't got cash, you can't purchase anything. No food. And who does? Water. I, I and, carry a little bit, but who no, carries a lot? No, no we're not. Up, we've, we've got into that whole routine totally of tapping. tapping. That's it. We've got 10 cent pieces and that's it. And that's not going to get you anything. I would just hope so. You would think, you know, if this was Jacinta in New Zealand, and I hope you're watching, she'd be saying, she'd just, be, Jacinta's a regular viewer for she sure. She would be getting down there and saying, okay, servos, Let's let these people get out of here and stay alive. We'll work it out later. Exactly. We don't want you to be financially disadvantaged. No one does, but we want to keep humans alive. But we've got our leader, non-leader. Only the wealthy humans, isn't it? Yeah. We want to keep alive. So we've got ScoMo freaking hosting these extravagant parties for cricketers at his Kirribilli mansion. We've got people's houses who are gone and people who can't... $42. Do you think they want to see ScoMo? <laughs> but some... is that the guy you is that the is that the face of like support or you know he's going to rock up to your house and oh, prayers and thoughts about your house? Who's the last person I want to see? No, they don't. I, I know what you're but, saying. But the country agree, yeah. wants to see him I, do something. He, yeah. They don't mind. I want him down there. And then one of his advisors got on telly and said. Politicians don't need to be going down there and getting in the, the mix of things and getting in the way. Well, don't get in the bloody way. Get the gloves on. Get into the servo. Pump the fuel. Help the people get out of it. Pay the bill. Do whatever it takes. I know your future career. What? <laughs> <laughs> Running for president? <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. No, I mean, don't go there for president. Don't, don't, just, don't tell the story. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So that's, I think they just want, they don't want to see him there. So if he's doing that, don't let anyone show. Don't put it on the TV. If you've got to do your bloody annual thing, because that's what you committed to, freaking do it in silence. But send someone something. And, and I'm, the thing that's shitty is that I'm pretty sure they're doing stuff behind the scenes. But tell us, inform us, lead us. Let us know that they, you know, they've sent a Navy ship down, right? It's going to take 72 hours to get there. Is it going to be there by... Finally, they're getting a little bit of Correct. naval support. They've got 3,000 people to evacuate and 1,000 spots on a ship. What does that tell you? That's Titanic all <clears> over. <throat> it's not going to work. But this is the thing. This is the conundrum, isn't it? Yeah. But so, so you went to the basketball. Yeah. You've got the guilt. Should you go? Yes, you should go. Because you're able to. You're not being threatened by fire currently. No. Now... We live in a place that could go up. And has. And has in the past, absolutely. We're, we're not far from hmm. huge Just danger and one, threat, huge threat of yeah. this place going one up. One dickhead from flicking a cigarette butt or something or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So um, you're still able to go and enjoy that. It's important you do that. Hmm. Um, you know, it's no good if we all just stop because you know part of the place is up in flames which is absolutely awful but, but we still got to get on with our lives and that may change and we may become yeah i get it but there's still that gut feeling conundrum of um so we've got the brave mama page and i've posted nothing so there's been some scheduled posts in the new year stuff but then i i deleted the rest because i was like no this that's Ethically, it doesn't feel right to be promoting something and being happy and um, joyful or selling anything, selling any product or whatever right now. And mm. it feels like the Prime Minister hasn't got that idea yet. So he's still doing his thing. That could happen later. You mm. can still do your cricket thing once the crisis is over. 
crisis. They've got to evacuate these yeah. people. They're actually calling it a humanitarian crisis today because people who don't have access. A servo was charging $42 for a case of water. That's not okay. Well, yeah, because it's a plastic bottle. Um, I see um, the New South Wales Premier was down there amongst it. I didn't Gladys. see that. What was she doing? In tears down there, getting upset. And this Showing is, some human sort of, you yeah, know, emotion. I'm, totally. Yeah. And I'm sure she is doing stuff, but I want to know what they're doing. Tell us. I know they don't want to be make it a political thing. Tell us what you're sending. Tell us what support you're doing. Tell us what the army's doing. Tell us what our country is doing to help those people, because we mm. don't know. Mm. And when you don't know, you make up the narrative and it's usually not great. There's some horrific videos coming out from the fireys mm. driving mm. through this... Uh, it's horrible, isn't it? And Fireys who are mostly volunteers, it seems. They are. They are. And they're giving up their time and they're not, they're not getting much support, I don't believe. I, mean, I think their workplaces are all kind of come on board. And like, so we did a, um, just as a family thing, we went to IGA, filled up a box of um, like Blistex and um, baby wipes and stuff to send it. So they did these big drop off zones. And I felt really good about it. We didn't have. Like I didn't get to spend a lot of money, mm. but what well, you could did what we could and felt great. But now I want to do more, but I don't know what to do. This is another thing. No one's telling us what we can do. So I've looked up a few pages and you can do a few blanket drops mm. and pillow drops and it seems like everyone's doing that. Um, but it's almost like we want to talk to someone who's down there that says, actually, they need underpants. We need this size undies. You, the, you normally see that on the news about this time, don't you? Where it's going, this is what we need. Like a call to, a call to action. Nothing. We're not seeing anything. Um, or donate money to the RFS. Okay, but what about what the people need? Yeah. What about the people that are stuck there? Mm. You know? How, and the, this is the next thing, the logistics. How do you get it to them? So the roads are still closed in a lot of those places. How do we get them? The yeah, roads are closed. Nita and I, we, we'd actually booked... A trip, yeah, to Mollymook. We should be there today. It's not, We're not obviously not going. Yeah, the roads are closed, and we've been in contact with the the people, and they're giving us a credit for years later. Beautiful, lovely. But yeah. we're just thinking. I mean, even if they don't, oh, this is the hell. They need. They've they got need no power. Survive. They've got nothing down there right now. They haven't been burnt down. Hasn't got to that, but they're being affected enormously just by the num low numbers of people. Coming, yeah, and people don't realise until it hits them immediately. So I don't think the people in Sydney Central, with that big debate about fireworks and no fireworks, that's a next level about Sydney going ahead with it. When you're in a hotel, when you're in Sydney and you're just affected by smoke, it's mm. very easy to say, oh, but we can still put fireworks on because it's needed. Um, it's dollars, it's tourist dollars, and no one wants to hear that right now. It's not about money. People are still running businesses, aren't they? Yeah, and there's still livelihoods so behind that. Yeah, yeah, I get I it. It is a conundrum. And it's one that, oh, yeah, so now we're like, okay, so what do we do? Do we, what what can we do? You guys have to let us know. What should people be doing? The ones what that are people are, doing, yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of posts of people just opening up their homes. Yeah. Which I think is important, but you know, who's coordinating that? Currently, it's just sort of it's over Facebook. socials, yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is something we never had years yeah, ago. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Uh, but, um, yeah. Hmm. I think that there was actually a really good story I watched, funny enough, from the UK covering the bushfires in New South Wales. They, they nailed it. Why can't we? We've got these... The, the report from the UK nailed this. How, what it means, what it looks like. It just kind of did this whole story where ours are just, they're standing there and they're saying, repeating the same stuff, but it's all very snippety. Mm. It's not giving us a clear picture. Mm. I anyway. guess a lot of people are on holiday right now. Yeah. <laughs> Even this reporter. <laughs> the whole department would mm. be low numbers. Yeah. Skeleton stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. So yeah. that's where we're at. I mean, yeah. what was New Year's? Well, we, we tried to talk about <laughs> Christmas. And we with two sentences in and bang, it's back onto the fires, which is so, that's the big thing right now. Holy moly. Yeah. We've not seen it. I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. Well, they said that New South Wales has never had a bushfire like this ever. Mm. Going this long, this mm. extent. Um, and there's nothing, we're at the mercy of the weather. That's, uh, that's it. 
What could the, we can't. It doesn't matter, you know, how many bombing aircraft and things we do, unless we had an absolute mm. shit ton of them, of course. But yeah. really, how much can we control? And we're at the mercy of the weather. And we the, haven't had rain for months. We have not had rain. And it's so hard to to water bomb things when there's no water. We're in a drought. We're in the worst drought. And there is no water in a dam to pick up and go and bomb. So, Ocean. What that's the, what you got. Uh, it, isn't it's incredible. Uh, I asked, I asked Tom this conundrum question. I said, would you go and volunteer firefighter? Mm. And he's like, oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trained. Okay. Mm. Yeah, sure. That, that, that's legitimate. Mm. But would you go and relieve someone if you were trained? He's like, oh, well, we've got young kids. I'm not sure. It was a really hard thing. Well, he's not trained, so he doesn't know it. And I'm, I'm not trained. I've never been trained as a would firefighter. Would you think about ever doing it? I think I've thought about it sometimes. I have not mm. taken any steps towards going and yep. getting trained or, or doing that. Yeah. Um, I mean, what, what, what's their role? To protect life, isn't it? Mm. And yeah. properties to a certain extent. Oh, look, we're, really. yeah, we've had that. I think we're that, well past that whole yeah. that's trying to protect, but it's just life, isn't it? Totally. And considering the size of this fire, all these fires, I know we've lost lives, but we haven't lost a great deal many lives considering how massive these fires are so are we doing something better now i don't know i don't know i think i mean when you look at some of the victorian fires only just a few years ago and how many lives we lost in in those but i think when you go to numbers and stats right no offense hmm. people always say no offense when they're going to say something that's controversial <laughs> All right. when we talk about numbers and stats and it's been eight people we take away the human side mm. to the narrative. So had it been eight or 108 or 88 or 800, I think it still matters. I don't oh, think- Of course it matters. I, I I'm wondering, are we doing, are we managing, are we getting the alerts oh, the al out better? Oh, I see, sorry, I see where you're yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, possibly, possibly, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I, I mean, when you have, what was it? Was it 400 or 4,000? 4, 4,000 people evacuated to the beach. They were told to get in the water. Yeah. They ha yeah. And that happened. It was my neighbor, actually. So how scary is this? Mum and dad drove into Ulladulla to get some supplies because they're camping, having fun. They got stuck, cut off, the road shut. Mm. Then where their ch three young children were, got evacuated and they couldn't get back to their kids so they were separated wow. oh, with no phone lot. lines no communication lucky their three kids had their grandma there but mm. still imagine being separated from your kids not being able to evacuate imagine them how the kids are feeling yeah, not know if well. they're safe holy shit yeah it's oh, it's it's awful yeah there's some real nasty shit going down so right how do we now <clears throat> So this is the question, right? So we've talked about it and I'm feeling quite, oh yeah, man, this is heavy stuff. How do we kind of pick up? I mean, it is meant to be that, you know. You, well, firstly, you focus on your family. You look after their needs and requirements emotionally and feeding and all that sort of yeah, stuff. You can busy, yeah. currently, and then can. You, and you do what you can to help others, mm. which is what you're doing. But not enough, right? I don't think it's enough. I don't, but I don't know because no one's giving us any direction. Like, I have. You do what you can. Yeah, I know. You're not expected to, you know, solve all the problems. As the president, you are. Is that your expectation as a president? <laughs> to be seen to do that. Yeah, well, <laughs> see, on a side note, apparently mm. I'm becoming a president this year. You know I'm going to tell the story. No, you're not telling the story. Okay, all right. <coughs> well, if people ask for it in the comments, I will tell the story next episode. No, you could personally message them maybe. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> we get heaps of personal requests all the time, right? Inundated. Okay, so now no Molly Mook, what's on the cards then? If we're moving on, moving forward, what do you do? For me? Yeah. For us? Yeah. Probably just go for a mountain bike ride. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh! Fascinatingly, yeah. Good, bad, weird also <gasps> stands for Great Bike Workshop. It seems <laughs> that is. You know, we're in the dungeon, which is the yeah, bike we spoke about well, this before. I mean, behind the scenes, there is just a, just a, a like a aura of, of bikes. bikes and tubes, 
pump there's a pump right there mop it? mop tubes so the tubes have been repaired wow we got off topic quickly yeah <laughs> that happens when you're a good baby so i also hear that our friend steve's back on the couch for our next episode which is steve exciting. steve came back last week mm -hmm. oh, uh yeah. and steve and i f attempted to film an episode on the balcony it didn't work oh, what happened there was a few issues and it didn't work we were we we pressed record and did all that and then i did some editing and we had 20 minutes of audio for re for no good reason it stopped oh battery that was a battery issue oh okay <coughs> oh, excuse me um so he's back he's coming back today awesome and we'll see what happens and then later on down the track <coughs> we're gonna me. get our needy on board and she's gonna sit on the couch with us and we'll wifey's gonna return yep yep You good now? Sorry about that short break. <laughs> Little cough tickle thing. I'm okay. I'm back. Yeah. Probably all the emotion. Mm -hmm. Emotion. Another emotional episode. Steph. All the smoke. Oh, it's the smoke. Yeah, it's pretty bad. A lot of people are having breathing difficulties everywhere. And then you can only imagine what it's like. Haven't seen the sun in how long? It's apocalyptic. Everyone keeps saying it's apocalyptic. I don't even know what apocalyptic means. Look out, look out the door. Yeah. You look up into the sky and it's just an orange dot, the sun, which it quite often is, of course, but you can't look directly <laughs> no, at the sun yeah. ordinarily now. It's just, it almost looks like a moon, yeah, doesn't it? it does. It is also, actually, and that's been like for weeks. Yeah. Actually, Louis said two days ago, Mommy, the moon, but it was the sun. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right. That, clarif that certainly is different. What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> bit of new year's um fog and haze i think it's you know so what's there to look forward to in our episodes this year simon where are we going mm. we are going far and wide no doubt yeah on the road watch this space wow on the road get those happening again when the roads are open we'll wait for, get the roads open and we'll be back out mm -hmm. Look, we haven't done an outside broadcast yet, you and I, Steph. Looking forward to that. Okay. It could be the three of us. Who knows? Awesome. Is there going to be an episode this afternoon where there's three of us? Steve's going to jump in. Maybe. Wait and see. Strong possibility there. See how we go. So, yeah. So, this year we're going to have some special guests, women, men coming and talking about their conundrums because everyone has a conundrum. Everyone, every day, has it going on in their mind, even if they don't say it out loud. There's always something going on. Of course there is. Yeah. Navigating your way through this uh, richness of life. Yeah, and talking through it. So when I first sat down, I was like, oh, wow, I feel these guilt and all this emotion. And then by just by sharing it, you're kind of like, okay, I can see what I need to do now for the rest of the mm. day to get mm. us keep keep with that momentum. Mm. Mm. I can see you, you, you take all this on quite more than I do. But if I think of my wife, Nadie, she takes it on probably at sort of similar level to you. Okay. She sort of carries it around. When they, we've got big issues on that, carries it, you know, a bit of the weight of the world on the shoulders kind of thing. Yeah. Because, and it's it's my black and white thinking. I think, well, how can you not? But mm. that's that's my rigidness. I think, well, what, why, mm. why, why don't you? Well, it helps me, who mm. seems to carry this less around, mm. um, helps me to know there's people like you who are doing it for me. Okay. Well, you don't, this is the thing you don't have to, right? No, you don't. In all seriousness, you really, I could say, here you go, and take it off, take the world off my shoulders and continue. And it's not changing anything by no, you doing it. Correct. It doesn't stop the fire. No. It doesn't take undies to the people, be just me stressing about it. So it's all the action stuff you can do, and you do what you mm. can, and then you... Yeah, like you said, mm. focus on your family because my kids, my kids actually need me emotionally. Mm. So Christmas was um, an intense time for them because when you are overloaded and showered with people who want to kiss you because they're so cute and give you gifts and, and love you. <laughs> it's only the cute ones that get the kisses, isn't it? <laughs> and have all this what? intense stuff put on you. They do react. They do mm. say, no, go away. And we have to try and manage their emotions. And you know what? Rightly so. If they don't want to kiss anyone, I never make them. I'm like, no, nah. mm. they'll come around. They'll come and chat to you when they're ready. We do as adults, as a greeting out of politeness and courteous. And I'm not a big, um, sometimes I miss the cue. You know, like I saw a neighbor for Christmas and I think, I think they went in for the Christmas hug and I was like, ooh. 
not because I didn't want to, but because I just missed, I missed the cue too late and then it became awkward. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I think- How did you manage the awkward? Uh, oh, the kids probably ran in between us or something as they usually do. I wonder if, I wonder if the other people felt awkward. Yeah, I'm not a big hugger. Like I'm not a big, hi, oh, yeah, like all the time. I do when I know that that would be the right thing to do with the other person. But when it's a neighbor, who you might say hi to once a day or something at the window. I wasn't sure. Yeah, oh, there's a conundrum right there. Yeah. That's a whole episode, totally surely. I misread the social cue. On the, you know, well, I saw you yesterday. Do we need to, yeah. is it, does there need to be a great interaction? I waved hi this morning, yeah. Depends on the person who cares. Yeah, well, that's it. That's it. There's a lot of things to try and get over, isn't there? I can definitely come across as not being a, um, outwardly affectionate people, person, people, person. <laughs> Unless it's That's my kids. Fine. Unless it's my kids. On the worry thing, I'm, I heard something a long time ago. So, someone, another, someone else's story. Yep. But uh, yeah, running a class or something, and a student come in with enormous amount of worry, and you know, he he sort of pointed out, okay, well, why don't we get all the class together and we'll sit down and help you worry. Okay, I want to hear more. Tell me. So you have one student that comes in with a head full of worry, okay, mm -hmm. in the classroom. Teacher sees this and sort of goes, okay, well, you know, what can we do here? Let's get all the class in to worry about this. So they discuss that one student's worry? Or? No, they so, say, well, let's all just gather around and... What are you worried about? Like going around let's to each kid? Not trying to work it out. Let's, but what yeah. if we all just sit around and worry? Is that oh, anything? and they got nowhere. I see. Yeah. They just sat there going, hmm, okay, now what do we do? <laughs> it didn't change it. Doesn't change it. Okay. More worry doesn't change it. You just got to be either proactive, you know. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Well, that's a really good point. You've just got to feel really good about what you've done. As you say, you've done your little help parcel thing. You yeah. <coughs> you've done something. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more than others. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You can yeah. only be proactive. That's it. You can't worry about other stuff. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big worrier. I used to be. How, okay, so how Used to did be. you move forward from that then? Just little things like that, that little antidote of that mm -hmm. person and just, well, what can I physically do? All right, well, I'll do something or less worry. Or not, I'm yeah. just really bringing it back into my existence, my world, with being, my wife, being my present. family, being present. Yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah, and, really. and, you and I don't have a lot of things to worry about. I don't know if that's true just because of... The, well, after, you know, we're very fortunate our health is good currently. Yeah. There might be a time to worry later when my health isn't great. I don't know, but currently I've got to live enough. But even now. then you can't change it either. So even when you're uh, unwell, you can't. The worry doesn't take the unwellness away. So you're so right. Um, and then do you also, just out of curiosity, have that layer of expectation then has subsided a little bit? Like, so if you don't have to worry, like you're not worried about what people think if you're worried enough or not. Mm. Has my expectation dropped, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, like, you. Um, when I say I don't care, I don't mean as in flippant. I mean, you don't take on board that I don't think you're worried enough. You're like, oh, well, that's Steph's, that's Steph's issue if she doesn't think I'm worried enough. Because I think that's where I'm stuck at. I'm like, well, if I carry on, right? So if I carry on with Brave Mama and we're doing what, what, what we had planned to do, then what would people think of me not caring enough about the fires. You can't help what people think of you, can you? No, and it's they can no take that do. away. They can get awkward. Yeah. They can misread you in yeah. many ways. Yeah, I love Your intent it. is good. You've totally got a big love heart. that saying. Yeah. What people think. You just got to be confident that my intent. You've got you've got good intentions. Yeah. You're not out to hurt anyone. No. I know that of you. Yeah. There are people who, because of whatever the situation they're in, hurt people. You know, you're not doing that. No. No, 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 no. Um, You've only got good intentions, don't you? Yeah, definitely. And That's I th all you can go with. I do love that saying that what people think of you is not your business mm. because you can't control it. Like no, you, you can't. said, you can't worry about it and you can't control it. And um, It's hard to turn off, but, admittedly. Yes, and but like you said... But you turn it off quicker than you used to. <laughs> you just, just, just hit that off switch a little sooner than it used to. Yeah. This one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just have to f try and... Like you said, do the best intentions as you can and try and not do the... Just be confident that's what you're doing. That's it. That's yeah. It. That's it. 
Fair enough. You're in a good place. You've got good intentions. Yeah. You know, we all make mistakes along the way, but I'm sure they're not big mistakes. Oh, oh, we have just unraveled like a whole uh, gamut of conundrums right there, right? Conundrum couch is holding up well for the new year. (laughs) That's a good start to the new year. Let's hope we don't have to... uh... This year's flying past, isn't it? (laughs) day two already (laughs) day two yeah but uh, let's just hope that the next section and then i know they're predicting saturday is going to be terrible but you can only hope we need some rain yeah but there's always more yucky stuff coming steph (laughs) sorry it's so true it's so true (laughs) we're not reaching the end of everything's going to be okay no and that's right and if it's you gotta make sure you're okay and your family's okay. That's your job, isn't We're it? We're okay. We're and awesome. then if you've got the resources left past your family, well, then you can help out further further I as well. Thought, yeah. You know, it's that balance, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. Finding that balance is, is mm. it's good. Remaining good, feeling good about yourself would be the first thing. As a needle learned this year sort of thing, you know, before you can really help others, you've got to make sure that you're in a good place. What do they say? You can't fill someone else's cup when yours is empty. Oh. Ah. If your cup is empty, what are you putting in? It always goes back to tea, doesn't it, Steph, with you? <laughs> I think I bought this for needy. Cool cats. Last Christmas. That wouldn't be any surprise at Actually, all. Actually, I did. <laughs> yeah, you can't... With <laughs> the fill- mug shot. You- Needy's mug. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fill up someone else's bucket when yours is empty. It's synthetic. It's not... And that's, as a parent, we feel that all the time. If you don't have a chance to recharge your batteries, but yet you have to try and recharge other little people's, it's really hard. You've got that going on right now, don't you? Little peoples. Yeah, little peoples are pretty good. Though. Kids are good. Yeah, kids are great. They're awesome. But we are going to today after mm. our recording, mm. head over to Bunnings, buy some plastic tubs, pop some toys away for later because there is just an abundance of stuff um, which they don't cope with. Oh, you'd be able to fill up a box and go. Here's some toys for kids that lost all their toys. We would love to do that. I bet you do My that. daughter actually does say, Mum, don't please don't send that away to charity. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> That's one of my favourites. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think so, so so Elsie's world right now in Toy, Toy World, what's her, what are her favourites? What's a little what's she four? She's four. What's a four year old's little happy world right now? Trinkety things. She likes little dolls that kind of come apart and then she can do this imaginative play and she likes to set things up. So she's got this thing that drives me bonkers. She <laughs> drives you bonkers. Well, yeah, she gets a bag, right? I'll have to this bring, I'll bring one next episode, but she oh, feels, looking gets, forward to that. gets a bag of something or a box and she goes into her room and she puts p- bits of pieces of shit. So random stuff in a box like she'll have a hair clip and a sock and a, a Barbie head or something and a bit of this and a bit of that and a ha- whatever it is, I can't even tell you. A puzzle, a piece of a puzzle. Then she'll bring it out to the lounge room and she'll empty it yeah. and she'll set it up at Lovely. like a little stage and she'll play in it and that's fine. Amazing. But then I have to try and find where all those things go back into the, the puzzle or back into the... The thing. Not she, for Elsie, you don't have to do yeah. that. You're doing that for Steph, right? Are you doing... Well, because when she goes to do the puzzle again, there's a missing piece because she's got a piece in that handbag and a piece in that no, handbag. Well, maybe that's an important lesson for a child to learn, Steph, as a non-parent. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, my, 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 <clears throat> I'm a little bit um, frustrated when things don't kind of go back in a place. I, I used to be really quite methodical about where things have to be and let go. Have you tried not doing that? Have you experimented yet to yeah. see what that Steph person can be like if she doesn't give not a shit? Not good. Not good. I cannot... That's the worst Steph, is it? Correct. I cannot give a shit, and but then the, the stuff in the house goes from one end to the other and then you step on a, a doll head or a piece but of Lego. You've got kids that age. That's always... That's every household with children that age, yeah? But when there's an abundance of stuff, it's... Too much, right? It's too much. Look out. Fire victims, so, there's, a, there's, a, there's a heap of well, toys coming your way that Steph and, not Steph, and Elsie and well, uh, Lily don't know. She doesn't know, so while they're at care today, I'm doing it because 
I want to do it while they're not there. I don't want to break her heart, but she won't even know it's missing. This is a great message to future Elsie watching this episode in years to come. Go on. That's where I went. Oh, and yeah, she's pretty. <laughs> she remembers stuff. But I'm going to put it in tubs and put it away. And then wrote in, in a month's time, we'll pull that out and we'll put the other stuff back. I think we'll try that first. Just because, yeah. Oh, we've got some experimentation going on. We do. Managing. We'll see what happens. But the poor kid, yeah, I've often said, oh, look, we've probably got enough stuff. We've got, you know, five of the same doll. Why don't we give one to charity? And she'll say, okay, like she's good with it. And we have in the past for kids that don't have toys. Hmm. But when she said to me the other day, mum, please don't send this to charity. I was like, no, darling, you just got it. I'm not going to send it away. And that kind of... <laughs> Put me into check. I'm like, I can't do this when she's home. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, so we finished on a high. Talking about your kids coming. That's always great. Yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah, I think they, and they loved, by the way, they, we forgot to give you the update. So their presents were wrapped in sheets and pillowcases. Oh, yes. No waste, no paper whatsoever. They didn't even blink. It was not even brought up in conversations, not even an issue. And in the big Santa sacks, they just went in unwrapped and they still loved the gifts. How are your pillowcases and sheets? They've all survived. Yeah, put them in the wash and then put them on their bed. They love it. It's really good. And now we can donate the old ones to charity. How good is that? Yeah. Oh, you're saying you bought sheets and yeah, pillowcases well, and wrapped them in old sheets and pillowcases. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got new pillowcases and put their <laughs> presents in there. Oh, very funny. That's cool. I love that idea. That is such a great idea. And next year... Man, we, just start, let's change the world on that. Totally. We will probably be putting um, their presents back into sacks. And you don't need to have... There's enough wrapping. So you pull it out and there's a box with all these tags and boxes and papers. You don't need it, really. Plastic. Yeah. We've even actually talked about... Sorry, Hallmark. Not doing cards this year. Because you give someone a birthday card, they skim it, hardly even read it, and where does it go? Exactly. Now, this is, we had this discussion, this is going to go a little bit longer than we expected. Uh, Christmas Day, we were hanging with some people, <coughs> uh, one gentleman there, Gav, um, English. Right. Big, it seems to have been a big thing for many years in England around cards. To give them or not to give them? To have cards. It right. seems to almost be a status. Yeah. Uh, you know, where you where you are in the world. Um, so he was always looking in his letterbox waiting to receive the Christmas card. Okay. And this year, by all accounts, well, by Christmas, he still hadn't received one for his mother and was questioning, oh. uh-oh, what have I done? Am I oh, out of the family? She, yeah, right. Because she is, she has to, you have to send her one, vice versa. Yep. You know, they hang all the Christmas cards. The house is full of Christmas cards. It's an important thing. Nah, stuff it. We don't get Christmas cards from our point of view. I don't, I don't want one. I don't no. want one. I don't give any. Used to years ago. Oh, look. When I was in England, it was a big thing. Yeah. Big thing. My, my, my grandparents, so this was sadly part one. This is going to mm. go way over now, but sadly, um, uh, as I was growing up, they used to have hundred. My, that was so popular. My grandparents and they had Christmas cards everywhere, lined up in. The they were kitchen. popular because they got lots. You, you're saying this because you saw how many Christmas cards yeah. they got. So, wow, so they had lots of friends and they got lots of cards. But as they got older, their friends died. So and they were they lived to. Quite oh up. no, that's so, like a short film almost, yeah, isn't it? That the is cards a sad short film. Down to a tiny piece of string with five, and then none. And then my life's over. If I if the Christmas card getting is anything to go by, I'm already dead. <laughs> Truly, and so I think we could probably stop with the cards. I know, and I, I got I, one this year. Yeah, right. And I think Tom and I have decided we're not doing cards this year for any birthdays. We didn't do them for Scrap Christmas. It. We didn't it? do them for anniversary. I said, but tell me the message to my face. Say to me, happy birthday, I love you. That That's probably more important than Everyone? scrolling on a card. Sure. Or just, just Tomo. Scrolling on a card and then it ends up in a pile of, where do we put that? How long do we keep it for? What's, what's, the, what's the rule? Just compiling stuff. So yeah, no more cards. Boom, boom. That's the card company's shut down. Come on, something yeah. new. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, Think of something else. Been a lot of changes over the last few years and yeah. things like that. Come up with the, um, you know. Uh, Next round allowed us to have a Christmas tree. Oh, no, you need a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> we just took ours down yesterday. Did you? Is that early? No, 1st of January. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, you'll go by the 1st of January thing, but you won't go for 1st of December to set it up. Well, don't worry because there's still Christmas lights on and the kids don't want them taken down. So they're, they're solar, so they'll, they'll stay I up. I think Christmas lights are stuff all year. Just yeah. lights. Because they're pretty. Who doesn't want a pretty atmosphere? Just change yeah. just change the, you know, the animals that are, you know, just get rid of the reindeer and yeah. the Santa in the front and Correct. replace them with... Koalas. Know, koalas, that's Save nice. Save a koala. Yeah, we've lost a few of those, I believe. Yeah, so if we could buy them instead, mm. and the money goes to saving koalas. What? New idea. Mm. We better wrap this oh, up. Yeah, I think people have had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they've if you've lasted, I'm gonna have to long. edit this stuff. Yeah, cool. All right. Well done for hanging around. Yeah. Don't forget to press that like because that's the important. That is your job as the viewer. Even, That's your job. Even more so, your job is to hit the subscribe button. Oh, even subscribe. more. Subscribe. You need to And say hello. Let us know. Hi, guys. Who are you? And give us... Two words. Hi, guys. Give us... And girls. Give us an emoji of where you are with your flag. So, if you... In the comment section, you put what country you're in with a flag. We'd love to oh, know that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Start that one. Yeah. Oh. It, it works out well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, tune in again next time. See ya. Thanks, heaps. Bye. Bye.